I'm going to ask you to make a copy of this diagram in a second, okay? But before you do it, I want to show you something's going to be slightly, slightly different. This is the copy. This is what I want it to look like. What's the difference? Look carefully, Beth. Okay, good. So you can see all I've added in, and you can start drawing now. Make on, on a new piece of paper, on a new page. Same diagram. Um, yeah, you can do it on the bottom if you can fit it. Same, same bits and pieces here, okay? But what I'd like you to do is add these squares up the top, okay? Okay, now that you've added those, as you're um, drawing that in, I want to ask the question, when we drew this diagram before, it was about conversions, you can see that up the top, right? But what were we converting between? What kinds of, um, what kinds of things were we measuring with all of these different kinds of units? All of these are units for one kind of thing that you measure. What are we measuring? Starts with an L. Oh, length. length, very good, right? So it's, it's one dimensional, do you recall? One dimensional? But you um, also should remember, on the other side of this piece of paper, I think, um, there was that table that said, well, one-dimensional measurements of lengths, they're not the only kinds of things around. So when you redraw this diagram, but with squares on it, this is no longer about length conversions. This is about, anyone think? They can guess what it is, Jeremy? Area conversions, thank you. Area. Okay, so this is what's going on. Okay, now, I could just tell you what's going on, do you? Yeah, you can. I could just give you the answers, like the numbers and all the arrows and all that kind of thing, but I want you to think a little more about what's happening here, okay? So here's what I'd like. Uh, up on the, if you've got a bit of space somewhere around your diagram, okay, what I want you to do is draw a square centimeter, okay? Um, if you can, make it like actually one square centimeter, okay? So I've zoomed in a bit, which is why mine is so large. Now, Help me remember, how many millimeters are there in a regular centimeter? Yeah, ten. there's 10, right? So from centi, which is 100 of the millimeter, to millimeters, which is 1,000 of the millimeter. So that's why there's a difference of 10. Here's my square centimeter, right? My square centimeter. Maybe you want to label it as such. So I now want to think about, and don't yell out the answer just yet, I want to think about well, how many square millimeters are there in this square centimeter? Now, we know there are 10 millimeters in every centimeter, right? So, this square centimeter is one centimeter across the top, like that. And it's also one centimeter along the side. Like, that's the way you actually drew this shape, yeah? So, now if I were to think about, wait, hold on a second. How many square millimeters fit into this? I'm going to have to divide up and think about, well, here, off on the side here, that's like my square millimeter. I should move him out of the way because that arrow is pointing at him. Here's my very, very tiny square millimeter. Okay, so how many of these guys can fit inside my square centimeter? Hmm. Now, the answer is 100. How do I see that? Okay, let's add on to our square centimeter. I want to divide it. Firstly, I'm going to divide it vertically, like this. So I'm going to go like that. Uh, I'll do it as best as I can. Okay, so there's five millimeters that way, and another five millimeters this way. Better? Okay, my scale's not perfect because I haven't actually used a ruler, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. Let's move those guys out apart. Okay, so you can see if I had placed, or if you had placed, your one centimeter across here, you've got your markings for every millimeter, and you've got 10 of them, right? So that's across the top, but in the same way, you've got across the side another set of 10 divisions, okay? So you're going to have to draw these 10 lines, but draw them horizontally. Now I'm just going to be a bit sneaky and do this. <laughs> Okay, so, sorry you can't quite do that, but you can see what's going on, right? You can see how a hundred is pretty easy to fit into here, because these square millimetres, they're so, so tiny, okay? You're going to fit ten across this way, ten across this way, so that's why there's a hundred of them in there, a hundred of them. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom back out as you finish your diagram, okay? And it's okay, you'll have, you'll have time to finish this off. I just went 
from a square centimeter to a square millimeter, right? So if you think back to what we did with leg conversions, right? If you're converting to a smaller unit, they're little, so you need lots and lots of them. So am I gonna multiply or divide? Multiply. I'm gonna multiply, right? Beth, did you wanna? Um, do we write the remember thing? Um, you don't need to write it again because it will be exactly the same because just like millimeters are small, square millimeters are also small. So you don't need to replicate that part. So I'm gonna say, I'm going to multiply. Now rather than say multiply by 100, which is true, the reason I multiply by 100 is I multiply by, come back to my diagram over here, I multiply by 10 this way, and I have to multiply by 10 this way as well. There's two dimensions, remember? So I'm actually going to say this is multiplied by 10 squared. Okay? It's the same number, but what I'm trying to indicate to you is, like, why is it 100? It's not 100 randomly. It's because 10 times 10, which helps you also see the pattern of if you went this way, okay? So here's my meter, oops, right? So if I had a meter this way and a meter this way, if I went from a square meter, this thing's pretty big, yeah? How many square centimeters am I going to fit in there? 100 squared. 100 squared, 100 this way and 100 this way. So I'm going to multiply by 100 Squared, by the way, that's 10,000, right? This is where that hectare idea comes from, okay? So one meter by one meter. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> that by the other that, way. That, yes. Is a thousand centimeters. Is a hundred times a hundred a thousand? Wait, no, sorry, it's like 10,000. It's 10,000, isn't it? 10,000. Four zeros. Whereas this is a hundred. Make sense? Okay, one more. If you had a square kilometer, which is really, really big, how many square meters would there be in there? Think, look at the pattern. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, very good. Times a thousand, <coughs> excuse me, squared. That's a million. That's a lot. That's because a square meter might be big. Here's a meter times a meter. That is big, but a square kilometer is huge. Um, so that's why this number gets so much bigger. Okay, so this is going from all the big units all the way down to the small ones. I need to finish this. I've only done half of it, right? What's going to go on the top? Yeah, Aiden. Yeah, division going in the other direction, right? If I'm going from little units to big ones. Whoopsie daisy. So all of these are going to be division. Okay. Okay, now we're not doing it today, but I just wonder if some of you want to think about, see how I did this to work out what was going on from a square centimeter to square millimeters? I wonder what you would think, don't shout it out, just think about it and we'll look at it later. I wonder what you would think if we weren't doing length or area, but what if we were talking about volume, right? What if we were trying to, now I, I think some people can work it out, we will have a look at it later. But I just want you to think, like, how is the pattern going to be similar? Yeah, how is it going to be different? Okay, so it's just something for you to be um, having your gears turning. Yeah. Did you make a mistake when you said 1,000? Oh, yeah, I did. I did. That's meant to be, thank you. Squared, perfect. Which is, of course, still a million. 